Hello everyone. Welcome back to another Rocket League series. Today we're going to have NIU versus Akron Esports. Today we're going to be having a quarterfinals postseason match today. I am Ucaster Jinx for today as we're getting prepared very soon shortly. Just to recap from last week, today Akron and NIU are facing off once more again compared to last week because Akron and NIU played against each other last week and the score, uh, sorry, there's some technical difficulties, but the score was 3-0 to Akron and NIU are having a rematch today in the quarterfinals. Not a particular spot that they wanted to beat during the playoff season but regardless they still made it as the eighth seed and now we're just going to see how differently NIU is going to play against Akron still waiting for everybody to get ready seems to be some technical difficulties between the players let's see As we're getting near to starting the game, everybody seems to be pretty confident from our players at NIU. Hertz feels ready to compete against Akron. Moxie and Sleazily are looking really good together on the pitch. It's just, a, it's just a matter of time if they can now perform at their best against the number one team in the league. And just to show, this is from week 6, but I can tell you the updated scores. Akron still remained first place of the season with actually 13-0. to zero. They went a perfect score for this conference. NIU finished 8th in the table, which I believe the final score was 8-8. Eight to 6-6, eight. Six to six, something like that. But regardless, they, they are 8th seed with a neutral record. And now we are waiting for Akron and NIU to be ready as we are about to start off the first game. Hope everyone's having a good night tonight. This is Casting has been really fun so far. Unfortunately, this could be our last series if Akron takes it away. But regardless, I'm hoping that the guys tonight will play not so serious where they will take this personally or to heart, but they will know they just need to have fun at the end of the day. And I think that's what it's really important as a as a competitive gamer. It's just even if you know you want to win, at the end of the day, you know it's just about having fun with, with your friends and playing a game that you really like. Yeah, and now you can see up here, they finished 13 to 0 first seed, and NIU finished 6 to 7th at the as the ace seed. For at the moment, we be, I believe. That Akron is waiting on their production to get to get ready compared to last week as they mentioned which is why we're still waiting Gonna momentarily switch as Akron is just getting ready to set up their production on their end. We're 
waiting patiently. But now it seems like both teams are ready as they're on the pitch now. Game 1, Akron versus NIU in the quarterfinals of the ESC. Interesting kickoff from Akron as they had a double commit there. I don't know what's that about. Maybe their strat today is to maybe play a little held back against NIU since Akron knows that they can easily take this series away. And we got Patty making a play, sending it down. Hertz is looking for a 50, sending it off to Sleazily. Patty's up in the air to take that shot away. Hertz is going to try to control this ball, but now Buzz is going to pressure him. Looking for his teammate. That's a well clear from Moxie. And now Akron on their way to counterattack with Tristan. About to send it off to Buzz, and that is a perfect pass to Buzz from Tristan. Just sending it off with a fake against Hertz and just speeds it up and just sends it perfectly. 1-0 goes to Akron. Those are interesting wheels for Moxie. Patty's off the wall looking for a play. Great save from Sleazily. Hurts with a great save. Trying to get around Buzz. Get gets a demo on Moxie. Patty's gonna try to make a play off the wall. Sleazily so with a 50 sending it to their corner. The play is slowing down a bit. Now Sleazily's in the air, sending it downfield with Buzz intercepting, passing it to Tristan. That's a good vision. Trying to pass it down to their teammates. Patty's about to take the shot. Hurts with a great clear, but Tristan is up in the air. So he's going to try to score, but it just hits the post with Moxie shooting. And that is a goal for NIU. Great shot from Moxie. Recovering from Sleazily's shot. Patty did not expect Moxie to be there and just sends it. What a great shot. Uh, joining me, we finally got Navolta back. And this team is looking great right now. Hertz is Hertz, Sleazily, and Mox are all playing on the top of their game right now at the end of the season. Or the start of the postseason for is that. Yeah. And now we're seeing some different tactics from the first kickoff from what I remember. They actually had a double commit under kickoff. Oh really? Yeah. A little bit of miscommunication. Is that why they got that score? No, Akron just uh, had a really good pass down. Ah, oh, gotcha. Yeah. But now we're just seeing NIU trying to take control of this game. But Akron's vision, seeing each other in the, where they are in the field, is definitely helping their p key passes from what I'm seeing right now. And I don't remember Tristan being a part of the team last week. Or uh, maybe I'm just maybe I'm tripping. But he, he was definitely there last week. Oh, okay. Yep. They had all starters there. And NIU is feeling really confident coming into this game, especially because they played probably the best anyone has played against uh, Akron. Akron. And unfortunately, the NIU just uh, can see the goal right there. But they are definitely trying to stay close just as last time and maybe get that last goal to bring it, bring it back. And this week is a best of seven. This is a best of seven week because we are in the top eight playoffs. I almost forgot this is a best of seven series. Start of the playoffs. I'm super excited. Hopefully we can see some changes to NIU to maybe at least take a game off Akron. Because they are definitely a composed team. We you can tell both teams really want this right now. Ooh, Ooh and it goes what in. A great demo. I was not expecting from Moxie's point of view to get a demo from Hertz. But Hertz capitalizes that pressure that Moxie can easily get a goal off of. And now it's 2-2, two two, just like that. NIU is definitely putting some fight against Akron right now. And they just have to keep it here. They can't They can't concede like two goals back-to-back -back like they did near the end of the games um, last week. But and just, just like, like that. that. A kickoff goal with Moxie making 
Who was the last back? Tristan, awkward by having a soft touch. Tristan just kind of panics, and Sleasley is just there to capitalize. Mm. Great shot by Sleasley. This is the first time I'm seeing NIU actually in the lead against Akron. It's a good start for NIU. Akron has given up two games the entire season, and right now it's looking like they're going to give up their third in the postseason to a eight-seed team. That was a good team play for a moment there, but Sleasley passing it down to Moxie and then Moxie to Hurts. They're trying to keep possession from what I've noticed because they're trying to not give this ball so freely against Akron, especially Akron. And now we see Sleazy going to make a play. Gets over one guy, but he's being pre-jumped. He has one more touch to the ball, but cannot execute. Now Buss is going to try to keep the pressure going. Tristan sends it downfield. Hertz is going to send it to his corner. Tristan is going to try to play with some control. Sleazy up there to challenge. Moxie gets both, both of them gone. But Patty is there to recover Akron's defense. And they're really building on what they, they built up last week. As it just gets right over him, tied up 3-3. Three to three. But they have been challenging the passes a lot more. And you love to see it because that's what's really going to take this take this Akron team out of rotation. Because right. Akron right. is really good at passing. But as as long as NIU can take away those passes, they, they definitely have a chance in this, in this series. A kickoff for NIU. Maybe they could capitalize on more kickoffs if that's their strat. And now we see Sleasley. Trying to pass it down. And the shot from Hertz with a great Let's pass go. down from Sleasley. That is what you like to see if you're an NIU fan. I do not care. Everyone knows here I'm an NIU fan. I'm streaming for NIU. I am going to be completely biased. Let's go, NIU. Come uh, on. That's what we like to see. 4 3. Interesting card design from Patty. Halloween themed, even though it was like two days ago. Eh, close enough. Maybe he got good with it and didn't want to change it. Oh, he's looking for a read. Sleazy is going to have to be there. Gets the clear, thankfully. Off his own crossbar. A little bit of risky play right there. But, but a much there needed to play to avoid Akron's attacker. And now Moxie is going to look for Patty in the corner. Buzz is going to try to make a double tap situation. Ooh, double commit. A little double commit from them. And now they have to hold on for five more seconds to at least take a game off of Akron. Hertz is up in the air. Off Moxie the back needs wall. to be up there. It's still in the air. They just need to kill it. Slazy puts it over to Moxie. Moxie looking to put it down, and it's down. And it's down. NIU takes game one. Let's go. What a strong, strong start for NIU. This is a first that they need to at least have some hope to take down the Giants right now. That is crazy. I so let's go. I'm super excited to see what NIU can do throughout this this series. They looked very good right now, very good. That was a great great start for NIU. They can still keep their momentum going, but now Akron sees that they have to they have to now start seeing NIU as a threat now to play a little more serious. But of course, every every first game is just to test the waters before you can go all out. And NIU's kickoff is definitely have a lot of pressure. We see Buzz is already trying to pressure. That was a great save from Hertz to avoid that double tap goal. But now we're seeing Akron definitely playing the game a little bit more quicker. But NIU should not panic during this match. Sleazley doing an early challenge. You'd love to see it. They're making Akron a little bit uncomfortable. Yeah, that was an interesting touch from Patty. He just stalls it perfectly there. Was trying to put it back mid over to yeah the great passing. That was good vision. That was great team play from Akron. They try to pressure NIU as much as they can, and they find each other in the in the offense, and they take it away. He got it right in between the defenders. That was beautiful. That was a beautiful passing play. One nil to Akron Esports. We're definitely going to see a different play style from Akron now that they're unfortunately take lost the first game. And now we're going to see a little different momentum change from from both teams. And now Akron's going to want to do what they've always done and be very oh. meticulous with their passing and shot placement. That was an unlucky po post shot. Now we got Hertz clearing the danger away. He's going to take 
control a bit, letting Sleazily go up, trying to control it, and now Buzz is just going to play it safe in this corner, but Sleazily is not going to allow that. He's going to try to get it over, almost gets the shot. Would have been a crazy angle. Nobody's there from NIU. That was a good pass down, but nobody was there. Buzz is going to send it down to Tristan. Tristan probably to Patty, effectively using his third player. That's what you want to see in a team of threes. Fox could knock it over to get that double, though. Hertz is going to try to play it around their corner. Gets over one. Good save Ooh, from Buzz. Sleazily is going to send it to their corner. Maybe get one more. Moxie takes a shot. Despite being one down, NIU's defense is definitely looking rock solid right now, and especially they're attacking. There yeah, has been two minutes in last week's series. I think uh, Akron scored in the first 30 seconds every game. Yeah. So this is definitely something great. And look at that look at amazing that, defense. Look at that brick wall. That's actually a brick wall. That was a great save, and now they have a chance to counter. Patty with control. Hurts challenges. Buzz is up off the back wall looking for a double here. Doesn't just have doesn't it. doesn't get the double, but he's going to take a shot because it's open, and that he does take the shot 2-0 to Akron. That was a great, great placement from a consistent player, Patty. That was a great placement, just enough for Hertz to not get there. Hertz trying just to put it right over him, but doesn't get it quite high enough, and with zero boost couldn't get to the well-placed shot. Akron's up 2-0 now with Moxie off the ceiling. Tries to get over it. Now Hertz has a lot of time to, to utilize. But Buzz and Patty are going to pressure him off the ball. Ball is thrown away for Akron. Now they're going to take advantage. But Sleazily and Moxie accidentally double commit. Oh, but he gets a demo though. So it takes the pressure off a little bit. Actually, oh my gosh, what a touch oh. by Sleazily. Hertz has, has a 1v1 situation. Tries putting it high over to oh, oh, Moxie. And the fake so just close. completely messes with him. And just looking for a pass, it was a good vision again. And I use definitely changed their play style so much since the start of the season. They're actually utilizing good passes around them. And this is what they, they practiced for a year together with. And just like that, they will get a goal. Oh my gosh, what an amazing shot by Hertz, just putting it just out of the reach of the blue so he barely touches it and puts it in. But do you see that team play that I'm talking about? This is what they improve so much throughout this whole season just an, it's just a short amount yep. of time but their play style is definitely one of the best i've seen right now utilizing For all sure. three players that is what you like to see the, their record does not show on how good this this niu team is records don't mean anything until you're on the pitch exactly and it is the postseason so records really don't matter everyone's zero zero now if you lose you're out but remember this is a best of seven there could be a possible chance we could go to a, a Game 7 situation if it comes down to it. Except I would just love to see NIU take all four games in a row, but that's just me. I would love to see a Game <laughs> 7 if we get the chance. That's true. Now Tristan ha having a mechanical play. Hertz is going to try to rock solid that defense. He's getting pre-jumped from around the corner, and it just perfectly mm. goes around all NIU defenders from that from that jump shot that Patty has made. I think he was going to have to use some of those kickoff goals they've been getting to try to come back from this game. It is really hard to get two goals on a really good team like Akron, especially in only a minute. See, and it looks like we might have an opportunity here. And Tristan oh, does get there, but barely. It was a little, little shaky, little shaky kickoff there. I'm not going to lie. Was a good pressure. Maybe. Oh, Ooh. That was close. That, that might have been the the spark they needed. Now Sleazy is gonna try to at least challenge. Maybe even a redirect. Ooh. Oh, what a great save from Tristan! What a vision he saw. He knew that Sleazy was gonna take the shot, but that was that was a really good save and a really good shot. And you just love watching this high level of gameplay. You get to see amazing shots just right and left out of nowhere, especially from Sleazy. You might see something here. Moxie. Over to Moxie, into the corner. Patty to Patty. Tristan. Ooh, that was a Trying to really utilize good. the backboard. And now Moxie is going to beat Buzz for there. And it looks like game two is going to go to Akron, and this this is tied up now. Oh, that, that was almost the, a 
good pass from NIU there. But Tristan puts it down. Game two goes to Akron. Now we're tied up in the series so far, but I still believe in NIU. 1-1. One, one. At least NIU has some confidence going for them. Even if they just lost this, they still have some confidence for them. For sure. I, I think NIU is definitely... They found their 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 groove, especially like they found it early, which is really important for them. And I think what also helped them is having those VOD reviews, having to versus Akron last week, which definitely helped understand how Akron is going to play. Right, for sure. So that definitely gave them an advantage, especially because they were so close last week. Um, they got to know what they did right versus them instead of like with a blowout win for Akron. You don't really get to see how they break down and how they don't do so well in certain situations. So it's very good that they had the VOD re review of a game that Akron didn't play very well. Right, but Akron is definitely having a really good team play. Very consistent passing and shooting, pressuring NIU. That was a good goal from Patty from that angle. Yeah, this is what you assume from a from a team like Akron. A 13-0, haven't lost a series yet. And this is just amazing team play. Fifth, nearly 15 seconds into the game. 1-0 to Akron. Tristan going underneath Sleasley. Doesn't get the angle on the goal, though. Needs to recover. People Gets using more demos now. You see a little bit of people getting impatient, trying to use some more demos, I guess. But and now we're Tristan seeing off the sidewall. Tristan make, trying to make a play with all his boosts that he can. And now Patty is going to try to make a play of some sorts, but a d really tough angle, but passes it back to Tristan. Maybe a flip oh reset, but Sleasley was on the right spot to get the save. The amount of speed it came off his wheels is crazy. I didn't even know that was possible. Now we're going to see Hertz and Patty along the ceiling. Moxie gets dusted, Ooh. and unfortunately Sleasley was not ready. And Buzz gets a second goal for Akron in this game. Akron takes an early 2-0 lead, only a minute in. Oh, he accident he had the accidental side flip. Gotta hate it. Feels bad, man. I think he's still not out of this. They're gonna have to change their play style a little bit though if they want to get two goals. But they definitely can get two goals in four minutes. It is still early. Just won't be able to concede any more. At least not a lot more. And now you need to start adapting to Akron's key key team plays because they are very good at finding each other in the field, especially their comms. I think their comms is what helps them to recognize where they are and where they could pass, which For sure. is probably what separates them from the other teams. It seems like they could find each other even if they were blind. They would just be able to calm all that out. That was, that was fake good. Two fakes. That was two fakes right there. Ooh, and it looked it like it's open, going into... But that was a good save. That was a good save. Moxie with a dunk. Over to Hertz. Petty's there, though. Hertz, Hertz is sending it down, it down to Moxie. Moxie with almost Ooh. a Almost a, a bar down. Almost a banger right there. Now Akron is going to try to clear. Hertz is going to play it off his corner to give himself some space. Buzz is up. Has some time. See what he does with it. He's got a flip. But his teammates are not there to pressure NIU. Patty's going to pass it down center. Tristan is just going to play a long wall, but really can't do much because NIU is starting to pressure each player individually. And that's what's most important is to not give any other player the space when they have the ball. But Patty has enough space to make a play, but just wasn't on target with the net. Buzz is trying to dunk Sleasley. Sleasley's going to pass it down. Moxie's going to be up. Looking for his teammate down there, but Buzz is going to intercept. Patty's going to shoot that along. Patty putting it across and just goes keep going back and forth across every single time they touch the ball. <laughs> Sleasley with a bump. Tries and to get might some be. Time. Oh, what a great save. Barely gets it. Buzz with some pressure, though, still. Tries to get out to his teammate, but it puts it back to Moxie. Moxie with a shot. Patty puts it away. Oh. Sleazy putting it to the center. Tristan gets a touch, though, oh. and it looks like it the might net, be open. The net is open, but Sleazy's just back there, and he gets the ball. Now he's got one more shot. Sleazy shoots, but Tristan's there. 
Moxie tries challenging, doesn't get it. But Hertz puts it down. Buzz takes control off the ceiling. Down to Tristan. Sleazy takes it away. Patty's going to try to force some play here. Leaves it for his teammate. Got Ooh, looks dusted. Like it's open. And, and wow. Tristan barely gets there. That was a recovery. Akron's defense is looking really good right now, but just barely. NIU is doing everything they can to try to get a score on Akron right now. Akron got too comfortable in the first game, but now they're actually seeing that NIU could definitely take away a game due to due to their commitment of at least taking a game. So he's just going to intercept. Definitely has good ball control here. Gets over Buzz. It's kind of open, but Tristan is there. Tries to Ooh. get the dunk. Almost works out in his favor. Tristan d opts for a fake in that situation. Takes a lot of confidence to do that, especially when it's coming towards your own net. And now Hertz is going to take control. Trying to play a 1v1 situation here. Doesn't have a flick, though. Gets a bump on Buzz. Teammates are not there to put it in, though. Moxie gets a pressure. Back center. Patty gets a touch. Over to Sleasley. It's a backboard read. And it looks like it's going to be Akron's game for game three to go up one in the series. And now we're just trying to keep it up for, for some momentum for the next game. But falls. And game three goes to Akron. Akron. They, Akron Esports and still needs to win two more games in order to win for today. But NIU are doing much better than last week, and I'm pretty proud of them right now. I want to see um, NIU move on. I I want to I want to cast next week, and I want I want I want to continue casting yeah. too. <laughs> it was like please. Please, please uh, get another miracle. win. Just please, one more. Just please, some miracle that we win. <laughs> oh, they're cheating? They got four people on their team? Oh, that's abuse. I guess. What are they? That's interesting. But I think we should be ready now. And here we go into game four. Oh, we, uh -oh. Oh, uh, we happened. might have to reset this match. Yeah, we might have to reset this match. Just give us a second. But what are your thoughts so far, Navolta, about this I, I I am very confident in, in this NIU team. They are looking very solid right now. They're playing defense very well, especially they, they need to start playing defense right off the bat. They can't be reactive because right now it really hurts on those kickoff goals in the, in the early seconds of the game. But I think they are playing very well together right now. They're playing They're playing their game. They're not playing Akron's game, which is very important for a team to do, especially with... um. The passing that they're doing, it looks a lot better than the start of the season. Right. Um, I mean, overall, they just look really good. They're trying to keep it close, which is a very good tactic, especially with um, a team such as so good as uh, as Akron. Right. How about you? What are your thoughts? Honestly, seeing them just – they started, I believe, in August. Their season kind of started in August with some preseason matches, but they, I've definitely seen some improvements with them as a team. Because in the beginning, they had easier matches to go against, but had they just versus anybody tough since the beginning, I feel like they would not be as close as they are with Akron if they met very early on. Right. Yeah, that's true. I, th I think this the the last week's game is very um, helpful for that for NIU right now because they they get to see everyone. Um, they have to see their whole team play right. already. I mean, same thing with Akron, but I don't think... I think Akron is kind of cocky when they come into this, especially going 13-0, and it looks but like another goal. But it is showing that they are a better team with 13 seconds into the match getting a first goal. These early goals just kill them because now they have to fight an uphill battle for the rest of the match. And it's just... Man, I, next, next match, we'd love to see this not happen again. But We will love to see a full minute... Of NIU at least not getting scored on, if it's possible. Because Akron's kickoffs are definitely is what helping them maintain a lead. Mm -hmm. Shot opportunity by NIU doesn't... doesn't um, Akron doesn't concede, though. But once you have the ball 
off of kickoff, then it's almost even from there on, from right. my, my opinion. Yep. Kickoffs can be very skewed in one direction if you don't have a good one because three people with boost versus three people without boost is a very um, beneficial for the people with, with boost. Now we got Tristan trying to make a backboard play, but Sleazley is going to comfortably take that ball. Unlucky backboard situation there, but they recollect themselves. See, so a uh, Hertz tries getting a little touch on it. Doesn't quite get it. Sees so it gets a touch to get away from from uh, Buzz. Buzz off the backboard, looking for a double here. Doesn't get the shot, but does put it back towards the net. Now Tristan is going to make a play, possibly an Arsenal reset. That was that was really cool, actually. Yeah, almost almost to the musty. We haven't really seen a, like crazy clips, but you don't really see those in threes a lot because there's not enough room to set them up. No, but I if anyone can, it'd be these type these people because. You're just amazing. And just at like that, gosh. Sleazley wasn't selfish. He knew that someone had to be up there in order to throw out the last defender. So he makes a perfect play and just gets it over to Hertz and Hertz easy finish for him. Yep, this is the type of play that Sleazley would just take in the early um, season, but now passes that for for an easy shot for his teammate. It's just this is what NIU is doing very well right now. They're not being selfish. They're actually using each other. A little bit of a double commit down there to effectively get goals for their team. And that is exactly what threes is all about, to use every player you can on the field. And that was a really close shot. Yeah, a great redirect by Moxie, trying to put it, set it up for Sleazley. I could see NIU making a little bit more aggression, which is what they need in order to throw off Akron's play style. You trying to what? cover every aerial, every ground play as they can. Yep, and now it's no longer an uphill battle. They are they are just trying to get this goal, the next goal to beat Akron right now. Tristan is going to take the shot, but Hertz is going to comfortably save that as he saw that from a mile away. Now Sleasley is going to make a musty flick, trying to show off his mechanics a bit, but... Not, a, not a quite enough mustard. Moxie needs to come back, gets the ball, N needs to pressure Akron there. Hertz has some play to move. But interesting hops from him. So mm -hmm. he's with great, great car control there to maintain the ball. Patty might Ooh. redirect and that barely was so misses. Close. Can Moxie get back? He does get back, but puts it back in the middle of the field. Hurts Patty the puts last it up. Defender. Can't oh. get back, and Patty just barely taps it over to put it in. That was, oh man, that could have been a great defensive um, series for them. But it just Patty puts it right over, barely touches it, almost pretty much a fake. Right. Puts it right past Hertz. Right. Two one goes to Akron, but that's a little much closer series. I feel like this is still winnable for NIU. Yep. Still the exact same uh, scenario as game one. NIU just has to get another goal here. Try to get. <laughs> They've been keeping it close. They've been doing what they want to do. I uh, just it all takes execution <laughs> now as a team and just. Um, Taking advantage of when Akron makes a mistake, like there with the double commit. So he's trying to Buzz accidental pass to Buzz, oh, and then the, and the panic, the panic from their defense. It's from a shot touches. on net. Interesting choice there, but it works out for him. They're getting lucky right now, and he was catching a break. Let's see if they can take advantage of that break. Moxie almost outplays one of them. This so he's just gonna. Go up. Moxie gets a demo and the guy in net. And it looks like it might be open if he can get a shot. And he just barely oh, out. I, oh, and it oh, looks I, like it's going in the NIU net. And that was such a good was opportunity a for NIU. Moment. There was nobody at, in Akron's net. But Sleasley was pushed up too far for that. And he didn't expect that, that kind of play. And now they got punished for it. That is unfortunate. Patty off the ceiling, or uh, looking for a uh, flip reset. Sleazy takes it away, though, real quick. It looks like it might go in. Tristan's there, though. Moxie trying to put it back center. Oh, gets over Hertz. Sleazy's back with zero boost. He needs to recover, and that might I'm be a shot. Shot on net. And that's, this, is, this is game four. 
completely in Akron's favor. And I really do attribute it to the early goals. I mean, when Akron gets up early, they just get in that groove of confidence and they just play confidently. And it's really hard for the other team to, to get over that hump. I wasn't here for, for, um, for game one, but I feel like since it was close, Akron played a little bit more scared. And that's really what NIU needs them to be if they want to get another game off them. Right now, Akron is just in... They want, they're playing how they want to play. They want this game to go how they want it to go. They're forcing NIU to play their game and not letting NIU to get any chances of what they can. And it, Which is why they're... Wait. Ooh. Ooh, what, what a good finish. That was a good finish. Yeah. That, that's a clip right there. Yeah, look at this. I mean, it doesn't really matter at this point, but it is definitely momentum for the next game. That is a good. That is a good shot. But regardless, Akron is still showing why they are a dominant team. They are forcing teams to play their game, and with how they efficiently play threes is very important. As we move on to game five, and this could be match point if if Akron takes this, but I is feel it? like NIU is 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 backed up against the wall right now, and they're I don't think they're gonna back down. They've been practicing for. For a year, a full year, mm -hmm. waiting for this opportunity. They do not, they practice a whole year to play like eight series. This is match point now. And NIU, if they want to have some hope, Hertz changes his car. He's going to just play for fun now. He knows what what's at stake. But this is the first time I actually see NIU win a kickoff and almost get a goal. Slowly so about to Ooh. take another shot. Seems everybody has changed their preset. Except Moxie. Moxie's still rocking with his wheels. <laughs> his old man wheels? Yeah. Hey, but those old man wheels got him some goals. Ooh. Oh, and it's just a 2v1. It's a 2v1 situation. Oh, it goes for the bump, and it's and great. Sleazy takes it and puts it in and with a minute and a half off the – uh, just a half a minute off. Oh, it was a 3v1. Everybody was after Tristan. That was a good play from NIU. Good patience because he just – two players from Akron were out of the play. They didn't get what they wanted. And I'm telling you, this is a recipe for success for, for NIU because uh, Akron is not up. They're going to be playing a little bit more scared. I, we've seen it before. They don't really lose. So when they are losing, they don't know how to deal with it. Patty's going to try to force a play to the other side. Sleazily gets a touch to that. But the Akron actually loses the ball because of that. Oh, and what a play. Almost Ooh. almost gets a shot. Had he touched it just at least one pixel, that would have been going in. Old man wheels didn't get quite the touch on him. So he's trying to get over. So he has pack. zero boost to come back. Hertz is going to easily save that. It wasn't strong enough as he wanted it to. Moxie is going to fake. Maybe even get one Ooh. touch. That was a shot on net. That was an interesting shot. It was a mind game shot, that's for sure. And IU seems to be throwing some mind games against Akron so far. As Trying to keep keep them guessing of where they're gonna do and what where they're gonna be. Which is honestly a if you be unpredictable in the field, that's hard it's harder to play even if you're playing good as a team overall. Right. And it's it's harder to get a goal on that for sure. Like unpredictable on defense is is very good. And offense. Looking for a double. Sleazy almost makes a, an, a good play out of that. Moxie's going to be the up there. But buying his teammates a little time at least. As Sleazy and Hertz are back there just trying to make a play off. Hertz is going to intercept, maybe even get a shot. Ooh, double double commit, miss. Wow. And Sleazy just puts it in, uh, completely punishing the... Hertz had a clear shot, which threw off double commit. both Buzz and Patty. Which they believe that they were that was going into net, but that w bounced off the crossbar. But overall, Hertz just knew that was going to come back to him and easily punish that. It was a good play, two nil to NIU right now, and it might be a third, but crossbar is there to save them <laughs> the day. There's a good save from Moxie. Now Akron looking for a, a that quick is a, goal. That was an interesting demo. So he's looking for a shot because they they know people were respawning at that time. 
Doesn't get it in time, though. Tries to get a 50. Hertz has to make a play, maybe forcing it to his corner. So usually he's also going to make a touch to that. Hertz is going to get another touch. Moxie is the last man back. Hertz is there. Ooh, Ooh Petty gets a demo, but we, uh, NIU gets back in time. The rotations are definitely helping them right now. Two minutes, almost two minutes left in the game. NIU definitely, overall, just need to time waste as much as they can. They don't really need to keep pressuring for goals. If anything, just keep cutting off Akron's play style, and the time is just going to right. run down the clock. Moxie is Moxie there. with good a save. great save. Good save. That was a good position, had too. To had to predict where that was. Oh, oh and no. The bad banners. The I don't care who wins this. Akron should not win this. Oh, you broke the rule one. How do you break a rule one? I, okay, I will say if anyone's gonna break a rule one, it will be in a in like a in an esports match. But that's still bad manners. You, you don't see ROCS people breaking rule one. Exactly. And that was interesting. And oh, it, it looks like open. this is gonna be a long and goal for this Tristan. Is League. This is Rocket League. One to two, NIU is is definitely livid on that on that rule one uh, mishap right there. Ah, uh, but that rule one, honestly. Bad manners. I'm not gonna lie. I'm bad not, manners. I'm not gonna lie. If you break a rule one, you have a 99 percent chance of losing that match. That's what I'm saying. You you have all the karma on your bad side. And they know it too. Whether they like to admit it or not, they know if you break right. a rule one, that's instant loss to your team. But they're not going to let that get to their heads. Moxie gets a bump on Tristan, and, and they, Patty puts it in. It's, they're still not going down. They're saying, screw the rule one. We're going to win either way. Uh, but I still believe in NIU. They had two goals within the four minutes. I do too. They could still win. I believe in them. Akron has a little bit of momentum here, but... Um, Hurts, Moxie, and Sleazy will not give up without a fight. Tristan gets a touch to it. Sleazy Ooh, accidentally And puts it touch. towards mid. A really bad touch. All right. Uphill battle again. They can do this. They've done it before. Oh, Man, he, he panicked for that. That's unfortunate. You need to take a breather and, and get, get cal calm, cool, and collected so they can be confident into the next 55 seconds. Now Hurts... Has to be the hero of the story, as he's definitely the MVP in my books for NIU. But Buzz with a shot, so he's with a great save. But we, but he has to be the hero and gets the zero second Justin goal and ties up this series. If <laughs> Patty doesn't score, Patty with his scoring opportunity and he and puts he it in. That. He fakes that well play and waiting for his teammate to try to get a just get in the defender's way. Yep, waiting for Buzz to get back. And Sleazley didn't know what to do there. It's it's either, either that Patty was going to bang it or he was going to outplay him. Yep. This could be it. 30 seconds remaining. They have to, they need something if they want to at least have hope to going into game 6. They have to get a quick one right here if they're going to do anything. And they do. And they, they do. do. They, they have do. 14 they seconds to come back here. They have 14 seconds. All they need to do is tie it. They, All they need they to do is tie it. They just need this kickoff. They need this kickoff in their favor and honestly keep bumping their defenders. That was that was a great play by Moxie and, and Hurts there. Yeah, well played. Well in sync too. Yes. Looks like it's a shot. Patty has control. Oh, All three are up. Oh, my. A triple commit. And it looks like this might be it, but we can still keep it up. You've seen crazy things before. Oh, and it, it goes to the corner it. and drops, and that is it for that NIU's it. season. Akron moves on to the semifinals, and Northern Illinois is is now um, eliminated. It was a great season. It was it was really fun to watch them. Really fun to fun to. Um, it was a great season. Yeah, it was a great season. They it played really well. I oh man. That last game, mm, I don't know. That rule one, that's all I'm saying. I won't say anything more, but thanks, everyone, for watching. Um, yeah, L. Tristan in the chat. Sorry. L. Tristan, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
thank you everyone for watching and tuning in throughout the season and come back next season to watch us get even better as a as a as a school so thank you